Thank you everybody for coming. Are you guys having a good uh, Anime Expo? All right. Thank you everybody for coming. My name's Chris. I'm going to be your host today. I'm going to be um, uh, I'm going to be help I'm going to be helping to talk about uh, Persona 5 Tactic. Are you guys excited for the game? Yeah. So um, uh, here's here's some uh, here's some footage of it. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It is a as you guys know, I'm sure it is a tactical JRPG in the beloved universe of Persona 5. Um, I personally cannot wait to play it. Um, I love tactical RPGs a lot. Um, and uh, I think, uh, oh, right, and uh, we, uh, we also have a booth. Obviously, I'm sure all of y'all know this because you guys are the super fans here. But um, uh, I believe um, we have a, a brand new trailer to show you guys. Do you guys want to see it? I want to see it. Welcome to Persona 5 Tactica, a combat adventure game where you'll lead a squad of characters called the Phantom Thieves of Hearts against a military group named Legionnaires. You'll get to put together a team of three from a roster of beloved heroes. Each character has a unique and wide array of abilities, talents, and personas that they bring to the fight against oppressive forces. And who better to lead the charge than the leader of the Phantom Thieves, Joker? Joker's weapons target single enemies but have a long range to keep you out of enemies' crosshairs and deals a moderate amount of damage. On top of that, his unique skill, Phantom Judge, can damage enemies in range while also taking them down while guarding. Next up is everyone's favorite cat that's not a cat, Morgana. He's great at knocking enemies out of cover with his sweep attacks so that teammates can follow up with moves that crit and even down enemies. And when Morgana uses his Winds of Time voltage, he's able to inflict damage across a huge area on the battlefield while also knocking enemies out of cover. Finally, there's a new face to the Persona 5 world. Arena, a mysterious revolutionary with a strong sense of justice who rescued the Phantom Thieves. And I am the one who will see you overthrown! Arena is able to target multiple enemies with her weapons while being able to dish out a high amount of damage. When it's time to use her voltage, activate Flag of Freedom to plant a flag in the ground that makes nearby enemies vulnerable and heals allies. Persona 5 Tactica also lets you customize various aspects of your characters. Be sure to adapt to the situation you're in to maximize your chances of success on the battlefield. Until next time, keep fighting. Ignite your heart when Persona 5 Tactica releases on November 17th, 2023. Pre-orders are available now. Oh my God, the art style is so cute, right? It's so cute. All right, so uh, I can keep going, but um, I know what you guys are here for. I know, I know who you guys are here for. You know them, you love them. Let's bring out the voice actors. Xanthe, Jeremy, Matthew Mercer, and Liana Albanese. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you. Yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, I'm I'm such a huge fan of your work. Uh, and um, should we get straight into the questions? Cool. Yeah. Should we get straight into the questions? Let's have a discussion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, I believe our first question is, how did you get into voice acting? Um, what is your process of taking on the voice of a persona and persona of your character? Are we going down the line? This yeah, time? I think right. so. Oh my gosh, I'm first. Uh, so I uh, uh, d had done theater in middle school and high school. And when I was in college, I actually competed in a voice acting competition here at Anime Expo. And I made it as a finalist, and then I've been really lucky and been working since. 
Um, as for getting into the voice of Haru, I, um, she, I, I try to keep her very gentle and sweet, so I try to have her a little bit breathy and kind of soft and dainty. Um, and then for uh, Melody, I imagine her as like kind of this dramatic lady of the court based on her design with her like big dress and her fan and her guns. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> That's awesome. Um, I started acting when I was five. Um, my mom really wanted to dissuade me from becoming an actor because she knew it was a very difficult business, a very competitive business. So she tried to take me to a lot of open calls and uh, acting classes with kids a lot older than I was, and I loved it even more. And I was like, I want to do this forever. Um, and oh, then I, I got that. an agent when I was like six and started doing um, film and TV and commercials. And my agent introduced me to doing voiceover commercials and uh, animation. And then I got into anime and video games when I was 17, and I had just graduated from high school. And I've been working ever since in this uh, wonderful industry. Um, as far as taking on a character, um, just like a, a broad note, I usually try to find ways to empathize with the character and connect with the character, what we have in common. Um, and that is usually, I know that's the common thread that got me cast or will always be something I can go back to. Uh, and it's very easy with Makoto. I feel like we have a lot in common and uh, getting to work on this game and getting to voice her just feels like coming back home, which is always lovely. Aww. <laughs> We love supportive parents. <laughs> yes, yes. I grew up a huge nerd. Uh, yeah. I think there's, a, there's a, few, a few of us in the room here today, and that's cool. Shock. Um, but yeah, no, so I grew up watching cartoons and playing video games and watching anime and uh, kind of always thought, that will be a fun thing to do, and then decided to take a crack at it, and it's very difficult and very competitive as the years went on, but it was just really wanting to try and, I don't know, see if I could make it. And uh, uh, many, many years of what I call uh, <laughs> uh, sallow living, <laughs> <laughs> subsisting on ramen and trying to <laughs> get by in the, the hellscape of the Los Angeles uh, <laughs> cost of living. Um, but uh, yeah, just a lot of time and work putting into trying to pick the passion and learn the skills and being very patient. And that's kind of how I got into voice acting. Um, as far as getting in the process of, of getting into Yusuke, uh, this is kind of a, a getting into a calming headspace, my beautiful artist boy, and just kind of <laughs> settling. <laughs> <laughs> Settling into an almost poetic way of looking at the beauty of the world and <laughs> hope maybe somebody will feed me in the process. <laughs> and, uh, hi, I'm new here. I'm Leanna. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. Woo! As for how I got into voice acting, I, it kind of has like two starts for me. My first professional acting job ever was in high school and it was a voice acting job with this uh, wonderful animator, Chris Perry. Um, and I did that and I loved it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in a cartoon, this is crazy. Uh, and then I went to theater school and forgot that voice acting existed. Uh, and then uh, I ended up doing an internship in 2018 at this place called Legendary Digital Networks. Uh, and there, there were a lot of really talented voice actors who, who were on our shows, and I just saw how kind the community was and how creative uh, and talented they all were, and I said, that's where I want to work. Those are the people I want to work with. Uh, and then I kind of switched gears, and I was like, okay, we're going voiceover mode, uh, and I started working my butt off, and I'm still working my butt off to make media that I love. Um, and then as for how I got into the character of Arena, uh, I feel like she's like my internal, like, Enjolras or Joan of Arc, um, and so like very French. I'm like, huh, huh. Um, <laughs> but uh, but but yeah, she, her voice is just a little lower than mine, and I think she just kind of lives here. She's full of spirit, so I feel like like she just kind of comes out. Um, and yeah, that's how I found her. Yeah. 
Thanks so much, everyone. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's, uh, I'm really glad to be hearing, um, hearing these perspectives from you because, I mean, I know I said this already, like, it really is a huge honor to be sitting on stage with you guys because characters are really what make this game great, right? Like, it's, it's what makes the franchise amazing. And um, I, uh, I don't think we would be connecting with this game as much if it wasn't for amazing voice actors and having a good process and really do, taking their time to study and understand um, what makes these characters tick, right? Um, let's move on to the second question. So, what is your favorite trait of your character? I'm very curious to hear this. What, uh, would you be friends with your character IRL? So, um, I personally respect Haru for having a lot of courage for, to be able to stand up for herself and for others against oppressors. And uh, I think she would be an amazing friend to have, personally. And even though that there's like a side to her that's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's the defender friend. We all need. We yeah. Need she could cook for you and, and, and give you vegetables and fruits. Hey. Perfect. Food is like, you know, another like uh, la love language. Yeah, <laughs> um, man, there's so many things that I love about Makoto. Uh, I love her desire to always do the right thing, but I also really appreciate her journey um, uh, that we've kind of seen throughout the games of her finding out that. Uh, the right thing isn't always black and white. Like, she has to see the situation not from what other people say, but what she really feels and trusting her own intuition, which I really appreciate and love about her. Um, and also, it's, it's very cool to get to see her transform into queen and own that, you know, powerful persona, literally. Um, would I be friends with her? Obviously. Uh, I, I need her to teach me how to do the braid because I have to do a headband. But I need, I need her to teach me how to do that. We could bond <laughs> over that. And I know that uh, I love to study as well. We could just study things just for fun. We'd get along very well. You could have told me that that wasn't a hairband. I would have believed you. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think for, for you, okay, I, I was, I say was, I grew up wanting to become an artist and through most of my school time was planning to go into a career as an artist, uh, but didn't quite have, I think, the, the skill to make it, uh, whether that was true or just myself not believing it, who don't know, but I would love to have garnered any of his fine art talent. You know, pastels, oils, all the amazing mediums that he worked in and all the incredible skill that he had as an artist, Yusuke, I, I wish I could have grokked some of that and made that my own. <laughs> Um, so as, as to whether we've been friends in real life, oh, most definitely. Being uh, slightly shy, poetic outsiders, that is exactly my high school experience. And I think it would have fit very well together <laughs> during that time period as compatriots. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know about y'all, I feel like I would pay like a lot of money for Yosuke to make a portrait of me. Because oh, I yeah. probably, Absolutely. it probably would just be like something totally like, super artistic and abstract and stuff, and like, you wouldn't understand it, but you'd, you'd be like, oh yeah, totally, I, I get that. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know, you just evoke the moon, and I had to get this night sky and this portrait here, the, the spark of color of your, your daylight, dawn rising, like, Yusuke, what are you talking about? I, yeah, I, exactly. But it's beautiful, thank you. But it's worth it for the poem that goes with the image. Exactly, it's great. It would be a blob, and it would sell for like a million dollars. Perfect. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I think my favorite thing about Arena is that she's like a little silly. Um, I think, cause she's, you know, she's this commander and she's this rebel. Um, but I think all good leaders need to have a sense of humor. Uh, and I love that about her, but like, she's so cool. Oh my gosh, I, w I hope we'd be friends. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'd have to like pass the test. I joined the Rebel Corps, absolutely. But like, I hope, I hope she'd bring me in and would accept me. Um, and I certainly would not want to be on her bad side. So, yeah. yeah. I want hair advice from her. <laughs> yeah, her right? Yeah. Hair. yeah. All right. Uh, I believe uh, now it is time for the Q&A session. These are questions that we feel, oh, not yet? Oh, sorry, we have, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, oh yeah, got it. So uh, we have question three coming up. Um, what is your favorite line in the game? Uh, was there, a challenging moment while recording. I'm sure we're all very, very curious to be hearing <laughs> some more lines. Um, so I guess um, um, one of my main challenges with voicing Haru was that um, I have to keep her within like a certain 
pitch that's just like kind of soft and pleasant without getting too like squeaky. You know, like, a, you know, sometimes when she gets really excited and they're like, oh, can we like bring her down a little bit? Right. You know, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pierce everybody's ears. <laughs> and then um, one of my favorite lines that she says is uh, in mementos. So it, it happens randomly. Uh, she says, why is it that I get a shiver of excitement when the shadows are pleading for their lives? <laughs> Um, I don't want to. I don't want to give anything away from this new game, uh, but I. I will say one of my favorite things just about working on this franchise is, and it, I mean, it, it feels very uh, surreal um, when I get to walk into the booth, and it does feel like I'm hanging out with the the Phantom Thieves again. The recording process feels like a family. The cast feels like a family. So anytime coming back, it's just like, oh, this is. It's not hard at all. We're just here with our friends. We're going to hang out and have fun. Now, some of my favorite lines, there are way too many. Makoto, I feel like it's an embarrassment of riches how many cool lines she gets to say. Uh, but one of them that I love is, don't get all cocky because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice. And always, fist of justice. <laughs> That's always fun to do. We did... We didn't prep that part. That's my that's my favorite line too. <laughs> I'm, I'm done playing nice. That's my favorite. It's so fun. It's so good. It's so good. Especially when you're like having a rough day, you just like need to say that in your car. Hundred percent. Road rage. Like I am done playing nice, but also I'll stay in my lane. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, sweet catharsis. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh man, Heart, favorite line is challenging. I, I will say the entirety of Yusuke's awakening. Yeah. Experience in the in the yeah. first game is it's such because it goes from like his, the moment that he falls with Madarame and like the realization of what his mother went through and like how him and the other artists have been abused and like it was just like this crumble this like heart wrenching crumble into I even mean, just the visual of him scratching his nails and like in the yeah. red line there's just so much cool visual to it and then him coming into his confidence as Goemon like you know the persona kind of lifts him up and just the the intensity of that was such a wonderful scene to really kind of watch him come into his own. As far as a challenging recording moment, um, I, I will say pleasantly, Yusuke, Yusuke's pretty even keel. <laughs> there, there isn't too much intensity or challenges to him because he's just, he's just a guy. Um, uh, as, as far as, like, I will say as, as an acting challenge, it was interesting, and many of you who played the first game would know, you know, the sequence with him and An, um, as trying to do her portrait, her, her nude yeah. portrait. Um, <laughs> And which, which, which is, a, is a sequence where the more you get to know Yusuke in hindsight, it has better context. But, sure. but when you don't know Yusuke that well, it comes across extremely pervy. And so it's like trying to ride that line of like, this, this, this isn't, this isn't uh, in, a, in a really negative way. I know it can be come across that way. Trying to ride that line to where you're like, I still like this guy, but this is really pervy. It's like, no, no, he's just an artist who loves art. It's fine. Give it a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, um, well, I am like a huge Persona 5 fan, so anytime I got to say like a character's name or Phantom Thieves, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I like literally like ran around the room, like the booth, it, uh, yeah, I could not contain it. Um, and as for, and I know that's kind of like cheating, that's not a specific line, but sorry. Um, uh, yeah, and as for something that was difficult, uh, there was this one like gigantic scream that I had to do. It just kept going on and on and on, and I could not get it in one breath. And so we just kept having to like scream over and over and over again. Um, we got it, but it, it took some time, and I will be practicing screaming from like this point forward. To the, yeah, sorry to my neighbors, but <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be practicing. That's valid. Well, I can't wait to hear. I'm so I'm so excited for you. Um, <laughs> all right, so we are going to the Q and A time. So these are questions that we fielded from social medias. Um, uh, what does being part of the Persona franchise mean to you? Oh my goodness. Um, Big question. Yeah. Big question. Yeah, I don't think you can fully encapsulate what it really means to be part of like such a huge uh, franchise like Persona. Uh, because like I, I feel like the the writing and the character development really literally 
takes your heart. Um, I, I got, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to do it. There. I see what you did there. I apologize, it was perfect. <laughs> I mean, I, I personally got really attached to the characters when I was playing through uh, Persona 5 myself. And uh, the, the community is so sweet and so nice and so passionate. The fans for years now like have um, been sending me a lot of fan art and letters uh, just to show me, just to, like show and tell how much the characters and the games really mean to them. Um, and I feel really fortunate to be a part of something that's like really cool and stylish and like very emotionally gripping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's been really lovely from the beginning of, of getting cast in the project. From day one, I just felt very uh, welcomed, and uh, I have loved every moment of working on this. It's also such a treat to get to spend so much time with a character. Oftentimes when we work on a project, it's one or two sessions, and then you have to say goodbye, and it's been really fortunate that we've gotten to spend so much time with these characters and getting to know the, the team at Atlas, which has been lovely, and it's just been fantastic. I also never would have expected the response that the game has received, and that's been such an incredible, like there's no way to, to truly thank everybody enough for the support and for loving these characters and for coming to us at conventions and being so vulnerable and honest and saying how much these characters mean to them and sharing the experience that brought them to Persona um, and kind of trusting us and sharing these characters together and having these this bonding moment. That's really the best part about all of it. So totally. it's been very cool. Yeah. Man, it's... It's a huge honor. I, I've been I've been playing these games since like the first Shin Megami Tensei and the first Persona, and just as it kind of you know kind of diverged into their own paths as the years went on, and um, so I was already a fan, and then had the honor to take on the mantle of Kanji Tatsumi of Persona Four, and that was a huge like I can't believe I get to do this and be a part of this. And then it finished, and I was like, oh, and then they brought me back for five, and I was like, oh, wow, are you kidding me? I get to do this again? <laughs> Um, and so it's just, yeah, very, extremely grateful, extremely humbled, and uh, the, the community response to this game and the, the fact that everyone's so excited to continue to explore these characters and explore these stories in this world uh, means that we get to come back and breathe more life into them and learn more about them every opportunity that we get to portray them. And so, yeah, thank you. Thank all of you for supporting and, and being a part of all this. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you guys, I mean, you said it all. It's, it's an honor to be a part of this franchise. These are some of the best games out there, the best stories, the best aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, this best is an music. incredible series. Yeah, it's the best music. Yes. yes. I mean, so I mean, like, I, I literally screamed when I got the part, and my roommate was like, what happened? Did somebody die? Um, <laughs> no, I just, like, lost my mind. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, there aren't words for it. It's a dream come true. Uh, and then I also just have to say is like these are some you guys are some of the best performers out there You're truly incredible, and I adore your performances in these games and like it, It's it's not lost on me how how lucky I am to make my debut alongside you be up here with you um, And to learn from you as well, so I just I want to give you your laurels because I am extraordinarily lucky. Welcome to the fam. Yeah. <laughs> you belong. Thank you. So welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it, it really is such a wonderful community. I remember like um, how fun it was, like being able to buy the game and, and play it and just watch social media like go crazy over it like immediately. Um, and yeah, uh, it's it again. I said this. I think this is the, like the third time I'm saying it. it's. It's also a huge honor to be with you guys. Like I'm, I really am such a huge fan of your work, and um, like I'm. It really is an honor to be here because like I I got in with three or four, three and four as well, and like to to know that five, uh, and like how hyped everyone was for it. It was it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, it's really amazing to be here. Yeah, no though. pressure. <laughs> oh, and shout out to all the incredible Persona 5 cosplayers that continue oh, yes. to blow yes. us all yes. away yes. with your work. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. So cool. All right. So um, what is one thing your character does in Persona 5 that you wish that you could do IRL? Mm. Only one. 
We all wish we were in, in this. We all wish we were in an anime. I would love to rent out an entire theme park <laughs> and invite, <laughs> invite all my friends to come play and eat and hang out and watch the fireworks with me. That would be amazing. She's just so rich and... <laughs> And I'm so poor. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all wish we were oh, rich? Man. Um, I mean, there's so many things that I wish I can do in real life. But uh, one that would be, like, attainable, but it would never happen for my safety and for the safety of all of you. I wish I could ride a motorcycle. Yeah. Um, oh. But I won't do that to you guys. That would not be safe. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could pull off that outfit. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can! That is, that is some sleek style. Uh, and on top of that, I, I, w I would love to be that oblivious. Uh, what, a, what, a, what a joyful life to walk through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Okay. Um, I, so, like, Arena does some, like, pretty acrobatic stuff in battle. And, like, when I was a kid, I wanted to join the circus. And that's the coolest thing in the world to me. So I feel like definitely, like, all of her acrobatics that, yeah, I would love to be able to do that. I cannot do a backflip. <laughs> Same. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Indoor kid solidarity. <laughs> and... All right. Uh... I believe our next one is, uh, oh. <laughs> Which one hurts the most? Haru's axe or Makoto's fist? Oh. It's not even fair. Is this, is this gonna start, is this gonna start a yeah. fight? Yeah. Do we need, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm scared. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> We have them here. Like <laughs> I know, that's what's so hard. <laughs> I have to say, though, definitely Hara's axe, because not only does she, will she strike hard, but she'll do it with a smile or a giggle, too. Yeah. And so not only is she dealing, like, physical damage, but emotional damage, too. <laughs> So, I mean, I think that's probably why she does, like, psychic attacks in the game. That's, that's my theory. <laughs> right. I mean, isn't that, isn't, isn't that the worst damage of all? Emotional, <laughs> emotional. emotional damage. <laughs> Man, this is so hard and so, so unfair. She's sitting right here next to me. We're all on the same team. Why do we have to choose? Uh, you know, I, I have to, obviously, I have to stand with Makoto, and I have to say Makoto's fist. A fist of justice is not only physical uh, pain, but also a fist of justice, metaphorically, also packs a pretty serious punch. And uh, we can all use a little bit more justice in this world. And it's like a movement. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. And... <laughs> Hon Only honestly, I, I agree. I would, I would pay. I'd pay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and also, like, but, but the question is, right, like, what, what, is more, what is more psychologically damaging, right? Is it, is it the smile on the face of Haru or is it justice? Which one is it? That's because it sounds like both, right? Like, you know that justice is coming at you, but you also know that someone's really nice and really rich is coming at you. <laughs> right? So... These are very important questions yeah, I know. we're answering it's, here. It's, uh, this, is a, this is like a philosophical debate. Yeah. yeah. Is, it truly is. Like, I could, we could, we could be here for like a whole, the whole day. <laughs> I know. That's serious. You, you truly have to understand. <laughs> <laughs> I consider them both senpai. <laughs> and when you respect somebody so strongly and yet they still attack you, it, it, it leaves an impact. Now, when you consider the source of the attack <laughs> and the type of wound that's left behind, these are two different types of pain. An axe will indeed gash, cut, and bleed uh, as a person does bleed red, red upon the ground. <laughs> um, I think, do you, do you feel inspired to paint something about this? Like the... <laughs> oh, I already have an entire series set for this. All inks on canvas with a splash of red. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I will say, an, an, an axe does gash quite heavily, but there's something about the personal touch of a fist of your senpai that just feels like it carves into your very soul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can sense the, the knuckles so gently leaving a bruise. There's something about seeing that bruise mark the next day in the mirror that just leaves me going, oh, I've really messed up. <laughs> very personal. <laughs> very personal. So I would say if, if I had to pick, I'd put a gentle lean towards... Um, Probably Makoto's fist, but only just a smidge. <laughs> Please don't hate me, Haru. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel I feel a lot of pressure right now because I'm kind of the deciding well. <laughs> yeah, what's your answer? Oh, yeah. Tell us. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so I'm gonna look at this logistically and maybe like tactically, wink. Uh, oh, okay. Good one. Good play. So Haru's axe. It, you know, like you said, it's sharp. I feel like that's a clean cut. It depends on where, it, like, is it, a, is it to the neck? Is it to the, sorry, I'm getting gory. I should stop. Like, where? No, where please go on. You're inspiring me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, but where is the attack hitting us? Uh, and then Makoto's fist. I mean, like, you have those spikes on there. That will crush you. So... We're talking pain, right? Which one hurts the most? Yes. And, and my, my question is like, is a, I think Haru's axe is a more merciful attack, oh. I, right? And so and so that makes me lean, Makoto. But now I feel bad, and and I don't want to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say Haru's axe so that we have a hung jury. <laughs> it's both. I love both of my girls. Okay. <laughs> It's true. Proper balance is required. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I hope that was artistically inspiring yeah, enough. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. What do you guys? What, yeah. what do you guys think? Who? Ra- raise your hand if you think if you think Haru's axe hurt, hurts oh, more. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Thank and Makoto's you. fist. Makoto's fist. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you guys saying this just because you because you like Makoto as a person? Because we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, just put us both on your team. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> just have us both on the team and then you get both. For yeah. your own safety, you don't have to answer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, have you seen their Showtime? It's amazing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That the true win, the true than anything, true. the yeah. weapon is the chair. <laughs> Always the chair. <laughs> the chair. Uh, which, which hurts most, Haru's fist or Makoto's axe? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> See, mix it up. Keep it interesting. Keep it fluid. Yep, I love it. Yeah. That. Like I genuinely want, like I like I respect you guys for liking Makoto and everything, but like, are you guys gonna have the same level of respect when she makes you study? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think you guys ignore that part personally. All right, uh, should we go to? Yeah. All right. So we have a very exciting message directly from one of the devs. Do you guys want to see it? Ooh. I believe it is from Nomura-san. Anime Expo にお越しの皆さん、こんにちは。アトラスの野村です。ペルソナ5タクティカのビジネスプロデューサーを務めています。先日、ペルソナ5タクティカが発表できたのは、世界中の多くの方にペルソナ5を愛していただいているおかげです。いつもアトラスを応援していただき、ありがとうございます。洗練されたコマンド RPG として評価されたペルソナ5ロイヤル。大勢の敵をなぎ倒す爽快なアクション RPG ペルソナ5ストライカーズ。そして本作ペルソナ5タクティカは戦術で見せるペルソナ5となっています。怪盗らしく物陰を利用して隠れながら立ち回り、射撃や近接攻撃、そしてペルソナを召喚して攻撃するのが基本です。ペルソナシリーズには欠かせないワンモアももちろん健在で、敵をダウンさせればもう一度行動することができます。さらに、ダウンさせた敵を味方3人で囲めば、新たな総攻撃、トリプルスレッドが発動し、爽快な演出とともに敵を一掃することが可能です。敵と味方の位置関係、
そしてチームワークがバトルの鍵になりますペルソナ5シリーズ最新作「ペルソナ5タクティカ」をぜひ楽しみにお待ちください<笑>ありがとうございます。Um, so, get those in now while you can. And、um, yeah,、uh, make sure to stay up to date on Twitter with,、um, with uh, all the happenings and what's going on.、Um, oh, and make sure to grab a poster on your way out, everyone.、Um, let's give a big thanks to the voice actors for coming and taking time up there. I'm sure very busy in book schedules for being here. Uh, uh, let's give a big round of applause to Xanthe, to Shermi, to Matthew Mercer, to、uh, Liana. Thank you so much for being here.